Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a quick second to thank you guys for a amazing SDF Conline 2022. Holy crap, it was awesome. So much fun. Thank you all so much for being a part of it in this community at large. Um, and I'd be remiss if not to give one more thank you to Veradux for organizing all of this for us. Um, it was an incredible time, and if you we're not able to be a part of it this year. Don't worry. There's always next year. Uh, just keep doing what y'all do. And if you like what we're doing and want to support us, you can hit our Patreon uh, just to make sure that we're, we're still there at that goal to do it next year. But thanks again for all the memories and all the fun. And I hope you guys are all starting up new games yourselves. So without further ado, here is episode 176 of the APA. To ask you guys to cool your jets. <laughs> that's, oh, that's a season one reference yeah, there. Throwback. Freshest mm. memes here. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's right. Uh, listen, I got a, a little happy in the mail today. What? Uh, um, this buddy of mine sent me this co- a few of these koozies, uh, fishjustjams.com. Mm. Oh. Um, he's, he's kind of a celebrity in the fish is it, world. Is it like uh-huh. a chutneys and jams, but fish related kind of thing? I guess in a manner of speaking, yes. <laughs> but, uh, um, but it's just the jams, no chutney. No chutneys. Uh, Oops, all yes. jams. So this Oops, guy, all fish jam. This guy has this website, yeah. and he's turned it into an, an app where him and his brother have gone through and cut all the jams of fish songs and cut like the song, the singing part. The out. actual songs out. Yeah, they yeah. cut all the songs it's out. Just, just the jams. Just the pure it's improv. Oh my god, it's, it's oh literally god. oops all jams. Yeah. Okay. And, but like th- they've like gone so far as tagged all the jams with different signifiers. So if you want like the dark and spooky playlist, like it'll filter to just all the dark jams. If you want the funk jams, it'll filter all that. Uh, and people love it, you know, because like diehard fish fans don't want to hear bathtub gin the song for the 5,000th time when they just want that tasty crunchy jam well anyways I happened to meet this guy when I lived in Tuscaloosa just kind of randomly you know like we I like went into his store he like had a a, like a camping goods store of course he does (laughs) (laughs) I was gonna I was not gonna say anything but in my head I was like shocked shocked Uh, uh, (laughs) And he and Fish was playing over the the their speaker system or whatever there, and we got to talking or whatever. We oh, we like it was like the only friend I made in Tuscaloosa. Aww. Uh and then he moved like a year into me living there. Um But he he went on to, to do this thing and, and they've got a lot of traction. I mean Fish themselves has acknowledged the site. Um so you know, it's pretty cool. Anyways Senpai I'm, noticed him, huh? Senpai. Right, right. Um, and I haven't spoken to him in a while. Uh, and he reached out to me, I guess a couple of weeks ago and just asked me my address. And I was like, uh, why? You know, <laughs> and he's like, don't, don't worry about it. And I'm like, okay. I'm a little worried. Fra- you know, fish <laughs> yeah, fan. I don't I want you to show up to my door. Like, right, right. but <laughs> now he's, I mean, he's pretty, pretty stable guy for a fish fan. And, um, <laughs> and anyways, <laughs> he, he sent me like three of these koozies. So I've got one for, uh, both John and Heath, if you want one, I mean, nice. you know, they're not nah, anything fancy, but 
if you want to it's, embarrass it's, yourself it's not while drinking. It's a jacuzzi, I'll tell no, you that much. Not, I'm looking uh, at it. It's not, I'm not, I'm not our, impressed or anything. Our koozies are way better. It's pretty, it's pretty. I mean, I'm sorry, Chris. I appreciate this koozie, <laughs> but... Who I but, imagine is an avid listener to the show. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure exactly. he's, he's caught fully up caught on up. IPA for yeah, sure. Yeah, 100. thank you, Adam, I mean, are, and uh, thank you, Chris. Mm-hmm. We are a fish friendly podcast well, here, so yeah. despite mean, our some best of us. efforts. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually just pulled up fishjustjams.com. I did too. Three thousand four hundred and fifty-five tracks over five hundred hours or twenty-one days straight. And, and that's without, right. the and that's right. without any of the, the songs playing. Exactly. <laughs> if we talk anymore about Fish Just Jams, I'm expecting a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't get paid. There's, right. Well, this is uh, a passion no, project for them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 20 day, 21 days, huh? Look, yeah, three full weeks. I got a koozie. <laughs> nice. Good job. <laughs> I love, I love Adam's going to start guys, like all oh, it takes to get a shout out here on APA. <laughs> is, give us a kiss oh, I mean, sh- for your product. We've shouted right? out for less. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. We still That's true. shouting out chutneys and jams. And they don't even exist. <laughs> they, don't even exist they don't even exist. Uh, I just love in Adam's story, he got to the point where he's like, well, and I hadn't talked to him in a while. And in my head, I was like, yeah, because I didn't need a kayak or a curated fish playlist because I made those all myself. <laughs> You know, speaking of chutneys and jams, the reason that we even talk about them is because they retweeted one of our tweets <laughs> yes. several years ago. Oh, yeah. And he- here recently, just the other day, like 50 uh, we had a Live and Let Fly tweet that Rockstar Games <laughs> Updates retweeted. And I was sitting there thinking, I don't think you guys quite understand what you're doing here, but thanks for the retweet, yeah, I guess. Retweet. It's it's the same thing with Chutney and Jams was. It's an automated, they grab yeah. whatever has a hashtag of, I think whatever ours was Pickles. Gaming. Yeah. Uh, oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. For Chutney's and Jams. For Chutney's right. and Jams. Right, right. Yeah. I'll we didn't tell you get, what. We didn't get noticed until we did the Pickleback shots. And, and that was That's it. That's what did it. So Those Pickleback I, shots I just want to go on record you're as saying welcome. <laughs> Rockstar's monetary practices are predatory. And I'll take a Chutneys and Jams retweet any day of the week. (laughs) You don't like those shark credits, man? Oh, yeah. Fucking shark cards. Get out of here, man. (laughs) Shark? We recently hit. Yeah, shark. 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 That's right. We recently hit a thousand followers. We did. But, like, if it's Rockstar Games, I'll go to 999. You know what I'm saying? I don't think think they're following us, actually. No, they're not. But thank you, everybody out there, for for the follows. If you haven't followed us on Twitter and you tweet, if you haven't, you're listening to the show. Yeah, episode 176, and you haven't followed us, shame on you. No, yeah, this is your first episode. Why? Why? Also, we're on multiple social media platforms. So please feel free to check us out on whatever platform you prefer. Except yeah. for TikTok, because we're TikTok. not on TikTok. And only we're fans. all over the age of 25. Or Snapchat. So. Is or, that still a thing? I don't yeah, know. Snapchat's absolutely Do we a have thing. Snapchat? But that's no, no, that's, that's, what I'm saying. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, businesses aren't so much using Snapchat. That's like yeah. a you, you and your friends. Do you we know? have a TikTok? And if so, no. why? No. no. Okay, we good. have a YouTube. Yeah. Yep. We have a Twitter. We have a Twitch. We have, we have a an Twitch. Insta. We have Instagram. We have a Facebook. We sort of have a Facebook. It exists. It is. We yeah. have it. That's all mm-hmm. I'll, I'll say. We have do we it. do stuff with our Instagram? Yes, yeah. we do. Okay. We, in fact, hired a marketing. We did it. Yeah. Specifically, it's like yes, yes, good, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. pissed off Emily big time right now, dude. Oh. You've been pissed off. Like, do we do anything with Instagram? Uh, well, you that's are, fine. What have I been doing for the last does. month? <laughs> She'll let me know. Like, oh, I, I pester, I pester her constantly. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I literally talk to her like every day now. Yeah, our marketing yeah. person is also named Emily. So, like, yeah, and yeah. she's yeah. awesome. Shout yes. out to you. Yeah, Emily. no, she really is a, yes. a very yeah, cool, yeah. very cool person. Thank Big you. reason why we hit that one k. So appreciate it. Anyways, we're not here to talk business. We're here to conduct business. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't mince words. I mince garlic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh listen, our 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 opening banters have been sub 10 minutes, but don't worry. There we I feel us slowly creeping back, but yeah. not today. Not today, Satan. <laughs> not today. Because, Cuz today you guys are on Jedirat and you just got the revelation that 
these ancient ruins may be Civ ruins. And Civ, although you don't know much about them currently, you would be able to do some research maybe. Um, but you're in this blistering cold kind of courtyard in front of this little cottage resort. You just defeated some air elementals. What would you like to do now? Are these ruins from Civ 5 or Civ 6? <laughs> I'm more of a Beyond Civ Earth. 6 guy myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, Beyond, 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 Beyond Earth. Earth. Yeah, yeah. A- there an go. underappreciated gem of a game. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> anyway. Uh, um, yeah, right, so I, these, I have no idea what These I, what tokens that I'm to looking do. at, these are the, the holographic Those are holograms. Yeah. Carolers. Okay. I just hmm. want to destroy the thing projecting them because I hate Christmas music. Well, so before much. we would destroy, is there any. Like, these are the holograms that the resort installed. Correct. So it's whatever the. I don't know. The so something, virus. something about the tech and the magic yeah. in that virus situation is creeping into these resorts holograms. Right. Yeah. And, and, and I would like to get to the bottom of it. Civ yeah. propaganda, yeah. as it were. Right. I would like for you to get to the bottom of it as well, Josh. So there are so, there are several cottages, but before mm-hmm. let's just do a general perception of the are area. Are they thatched yes. okay. roofed? Are they thatched roofed? Are they thatched roofed? No, they're so, not. They're they're built to withstand against severe cold. Um, and tornado reference, please. Obviously. Let's move on. Yeah. All right, Thirty nine on the perception the, check as Orin kind of scans around. All right, so Orin, you, uh, I guess, with your exemplary hearing, even through the wind, still are able to succeed, even with the minus four on that. You hear the sound of some wood chopping around the backside of this cottage here, which is the uh, kind of one of the north, northwest northwest one. cottage. Yeah. yeah. So uh, telepathically, you hear Orin say, "I think I hear something." And that and this this cottage uh, is now that one's complete, but there are a couple that are not finished being built. They're in yet. various stages of construction. Correct. Correct. Okay. The one directly in front of you is complete and this one actually looks like finished and maybe even furnished to the uh, east the, is correct. finished okay yes but for now you the sound of chopping wood uh catches your ear okay so yeah uh, Orin will start making his way there he's going to draw a, a a a round from his from his bandolier and reload his rifle just in case but uh is it a single action rifle it, like one one Round per load? Huh? It's, it's, I mean, well, he can hold so many rounds in the tube. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you fire one round and you can. Oh, so you're just one more round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. not like a magazine, it's it's a tube, like a lever action rifle has a tube magazine. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, you can just load one at a time. But I'm just, I'm just saying that just so that I have a full. Of a full mag going into it. That's that's the whole. Yeah, point. I hear you. I'm just I'm curious more than more than anything. I got you. Ziva will kind of like move along with him to be kind of because I think Fell is trying to check out the holograms, but she's just going to kind of be in between the two of them. So whatever so pops off. I'll say as far as the holograms go, you don't really see anything interfaceable. Interfaceable here. You know okay. what I mean? Like they're not like coming out of like a computerized pad or anything like that. So because we just dealt with some, you know, hostiles, Orin will press his back against the edge of that wall and peek around to the north. Uh, all right. What you see is, and I'll, I'll show you. You see this um. robot that <laughs> looks like a female dwarf uh, with twin blonde braids. Mm-hmm. Uh, the chassis kind of resembles a red and green checkered flannel outfit, uh, even with like a little ca- kilted kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, she's got a little tartan. It's a plaid. Tartan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plaid tartan. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh huh. I love and- space dwarfs, man. Dude, <laughs> but this is a robot space dwarf. Yeah, robot. this is it a robot. Well. And it has a, it is a robot, and it has, for one hand, uh, instead of a hand, there is a double-bladed axe, and then the other hand is a robotic, uh, with like three fingers that looks like it's used for gripping. Um, you see that this robot is just like hacking at the side of the building with its axe. 
Yeah. And then it stops and walks directly into the mountain wall behind it, okay. bounces off the wall, and then comes back to a different section and starts hacking just at the at the wall. Just chunk, 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 chunk. So what we have here is a Roomba with an axe that is just currently like plotting plotting the area, you know, just chop it. And it's and it's actively tr- destroying this building. Yeah, uh, somebody can roll a computers or engineering check. Well, that's a crime. Sweet. It's got to sure. die. Yeah, yeah, I fell. <laughs> you know. Computers or engineering? Yeah, I mean, Orin would certainly like telepathically, you, you know, explain what he sees and move out of the way so that Fell could peek around without exposing ourselves to the mm-hmm. to the creature. Yeah, that's a thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Great. Uh, well, yeah, so against the DC-30, you can tell that this is quite unusual behavior. Um, that You can assess that these are logger bots that probably had the function of chopping down trees to make timber and lumber f- to build these cottages. Um, so it looks like it's a bit on the fritz, and you can <laughs> kind of assess that it's likely due to also to the virus that seems to be permeating. The term dwarven lager bot could really go two different ways. (laughs) (laughs) How what's the other way it could go? Beer. Beer. What would a lager bot be doing? Pouring beer. beer Pouring beer. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Hmm. Got him there, folks. Got him there. Fuck! I just, all right. I guess I'll, I guess I quit. <laughs> we'll see you, you know, what I mean? we'll see you. <laughs> um, I will say that you see that one, and and Mike and Ziva, you can see another one over here to the uh, east. Mm-hmm. Um, it it's Is it just also on the fritz. Yes, but differently. It's just kind of walking in a tight circle in that five foot square. Just oh, no. <laughs> somebody turned the light off. So it's having trouble tracking the room. Sorry, I've been having issues with my Roomba lately. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Right. Tom can Bonnet we shut didn't it? leave the light on for him. Exactly. Can we shut <laughs> it off? Like, can we do a remote hack? I guess you could certainly try. I mean, I can try within 20 feet, but... Uh... I don't want to potentially piss it off and have it attack us. Yeah, I mean, right now, right now, it seems content to just run into walls and chop walls. But you can do whatever you want. That's what you see. I mean, we could check the houses first just to kind of like see what else kind of situation we've got. I, mean, I would like not- to see if there's signs on those cottages. Like, for- um, there aren't signs, however, on the cottage here that's to the east. Um, you can just get the sense that this is like a model cabin Mm. Um, and it looks the most finished you know Mm. there's like festive wreaths uh, on the double door can we open the door like just kind of check the area basically just see what we got here before we move into robot territory yeah I mean the door certainly uh, doesn't look locked I opened the door yeah, you do open the door, um, and inside the cabin you see some plush uh, faux fur rugs covering the lacquered wooden floor. A stone fireplace adorns the building's southern wall. This uh, The decor in here features a warm color palette and kitschy decorations meant to <laughs> decorations. Some decorations. Uh, listeners, you just, couldn't see it, but just, I looked at the camera. <laughs> oh, I did too. Uh, just decorations. Just penis-shaped uh, Christmas decorations yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Uh, meant to emulate a lived-in rustic atmosphere. There is a state-of-the-art kitchenette in the northern part of the cabin featuring marble cu- countertops and stainless steel kitchen appliances. Um... Somebody can roll an engineering or perception check. This looks about your speed, Aaron. Yeah, I'll take a look. Uh, I assume <laughs> Fell will do engineering. If uh, do with a natural eight, that's not so good. Uh, it comes out to a 34. 
four. Jesus. <laughs> well, yeah, and I only got a twenty-seven on the engineering. Okay, well, well with the I'll natural eight, uh, taking it to a thirty-four, uh, <laughs> beats the DC thirty yeah. perception <laughs> check. Um, and you see a piece of equipment that you you can see it, but you might feel that either Fell or Kuiper might have interest in. It's a sleep control panel, and it doesn't look like it's something that would normally be in a kitchen. So yeah, Orin will telepathically draw attention to it. I mean, he's, uh, for all intents and purposes, Orin will be communicating telepathically right now to avoid drawing any kind of attention, you know? Right. Um, but yeah, he'll point it out to, to, to the engineers. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what, you probably got the higher of the of both of us. I'll aid you. Where if is there's it? an aid? It's just on the counter in the kitchen. And I'm guessing an aid is possible. Yeah. Okay. All right. You said it'd be engineering, correct? Yeah. I mean, before you roll, you can just look at it, right? Yeah. Um, and you can see that this is a control panel that's meant to to. It's kind of like a hub panel to control these cabins and that mm. it looks like most cabins would have one once they're all said and done, you know? Um, and it, what it does is it gives you direct control over personal tour guides and the robot or holographic companions that they're planning on featuring here. Um, so you get the sense that this control panel is kind of a master control panel. And that there are some functions that would require a computer check to get to. You see, like, robot control and hologram control as, like, a couple options there. But they require okay. some checks. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, uh, yeah, I'd like to try and get, you know, gain full access to it if possible. All right. Well, they're two separate things. So, uh, for the ho- let's go ahead and roll computers or engineering on the... Holograms. All right. Uh, I guess Kuiper auto aids, correct? Uh, yes. Unless it's diplomacy or mysticism, I auto aid. I auto aid too. On engineering. I yeah. I, I auto aid on anything I'm trained in. Right, but are you trained okay. in computers? No. Okay. So. Okay. But engineering for sure. Yeah. All right. So I'm doing engineering on this then. So that's a plus four. Gives me a plus twenty nine. Jeez, I don't uh, even so roll. Twenty nine plus eight. <laughs> Thirty seven. Yeah, yeah, plus twenty nine beats the DC twenty eight. <laughs> uh, so you see that there is a control to turn off the hollow projector, which would allow you to change the personality and the visual appearance. However, it does seem a little distorted. Um, What you can do is you can at least turn the holo projector off that would prevent these holograms from regenerating if they're destroyed. So these are living holograms, which you're obviously familiar with. You've you've created one with Terry before. So you know that it can take some somewhat of a, a shape and everything like that. But you can, from this control panel, while you can't like turn them, the, the ones that are already out there off, you can prevent them from being able to regenerate if you disable them in, you know, other ways. Okay. And what was the other? The robots. This is engineering only. Okay. So I guess I get aid from both of the guys mm-hmm. again. Mm-hmm. Correct. All right. So that's not as good of a roll, but that's still plus 29 for a 32. <laughs> That is not enough oh. to succeed. Oh, no. I can't believe it. Oh, wow. um, yeah, I rolled a three. So yeah, you you try you try to get into the robot control, and you see a bunch of strange symbols that you've never seen before, <laughs> kind of static across the control panel, and actually the control panel like shuts off immediately. Yeah. Oh, cool! That would happen. Yeah. Great. Is that due to countermeasures? Don't you have like? countermeasure preventative stuff do i still i might not actually i don't be think good, i do anymore be good to Ooh. know Mm-mm, i don't okay okay good to know be on forward. computers anyway though it's not on that's that's true right. that's right. true that's true so this is a single story cabin yes they're all single story okay. cabins 
Well. Um, all right. Well, glad we spent that time on that. It's good. It's good. We did get some information. Did we, though? Did we? Uh, yeah. Yes, well, we did, we we did find the... out the regenerative uh, abilities of these living holograms. So do what you will. I feel <laughs> you will make the uh, the right decision. <laughs> there did nothing. There did absolutely nothing with it, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ziva kind of wanders out the south because there's multiple doors. It looks like mm-hmm, yeah, it opens up to a wooden deck. This is a tiny cabin to have so many fucking doors. I know it's like um, really small. Hey, oh, this is the thing. Behind yeah, so this? As, yeah, as you step out, you see the remnants of a spiral walkway emerging from the snow-covered ground, like the fossilized backbone of an ancient beast. This uh, ramp coils downward into a wide tube built into the planet's surface. Both the ramp and the shaft it encircles are constructed of a spongy purplish red material reinforced with sheets of polished metallic substance. A translucent dome of shimmering energy covers the opening. Huh. Well, well, I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. Before we mess with that, I, I think you're all fine, but I would like to take ten minutes and get my mountain of stamina back. Okay, uh, I mean, Mike can rest while we kind of check these other cabins real quick right, to see if yeah. there's anything. Yeah, I will say if you want a short rest, you need to be in a cabin because you yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah, it's got an good environment. Be. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take a short rest. Go ahead. So, yeah, I mean, Orin will go with Ziva, and we'll kind of sweep this uh, southern cabin. Yeah. Moving along, we'll, we'll open these doors up and take a peek. I mean, fell nothing. Well. In, nothing. It looks, it looks like it's open to the to the elements there. Yeah, this is an incomplete cabin. Mm-hmm. All right, so Orin's like clear, and we can move back out. Oh, we'll cross back over the courtyard. Kind of on the southern side, past where we mm-hmm. fought the elementals. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to avoid the uh, the the dwarven robots, right? So yes. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Orin's gonna check his sight lines before he moves any further. Yeah, as you Peaks. take a step there to the this western one, you do see another logger bot, just like like crouched down on this wooden deck that you're looking at. Uh, that's off the side of one, another one of these cabins, and it's just like. Punching the deck. Just. Poof. Yeah, just glitched <clears throat> out. Okay, yeah. so instead of uh, proceeding through the back yeah. the back way, I think we can go back up. Well, well and I'll also <laughs> say from the vantage point where you just were, yeah. you can mm-hmm. see the two cabins that are the furthest west are the least complete. Okay. Don't don't uh-huh. appear to have anything in them. They, they don't even have doors on them. Like you can mm-hmm. see, you see all this lumber right here that they were in the process of working on these. Okay. There is a door on this one. I think we can take a peek in, in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we go around and we can look inside and it looks like there's nothing in there to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, the walls are complete, but it's not furnished at all. Okay. okay. Yeah, while, while you guys are surveying, like, Orin, here's in his head, like, what's the range on these things? Is this thing on? Is this on? Yeah, you don't have to yell, Mike. We, we can hear you. I'm a brain yelling. The brain yelling. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it, I think we can uh, move into this north, northernmost yeah. cabin and take a look around. Uh, it appears to be like a duplex of some kind. Mm, yep. Yeah. Yep. And I don't see anything in this in this room, so one will move back out. But if we go down too far, oh, oh, circle bot. Maybe. I mean, it's just walking in circles. Let's get on up there. You're just yeah. trying to go in those doors? Yeah. yeah. You yeah gotta, I mean, it looks like yeah. nothing's in these things. Th- yeah. This nothing. cabin that we went into first seemed to be the only one that had, like, the control panel inside of it that we could do anything with. Right. Yeah. I uh, do want to... I'm just going to open this door. Just so I can see. Roll a reflex save. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck, curiosity, what have you done to me? Okay, okay. so Orin will make his way back into the cabin that Mike is resting in uh, and, you know, communicate. 
looks clear except for the bots. Without access to that control panel, I don't think we can get anything else. I think if we go down through the southern door here, we can just bypass the bots completely on our way to the spiral staircase. Um, Seems like the only thing we can do. Been ten minutes. Yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah. Question. Beyond the staircase, it looks like there was another building. Yeah, I mean, again, it's more just in construction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, just being sure. All right, cool, cool. Okay, so uh, I guess once Mike is ready, we gather up the group and and oh. proceed to that uh, spongy purple spiral staircase. Yeah. Did not love spongy as a description. Yeah, yeah tell it's kind of weird, isn't it? Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, well, write us uh, write something in the suggestion box. Let's get <laughs> <and> move on. <laughs> so there's a force field around this thing. Yeah. Yeah, the purple. I assume the bubble. Can I roll a mysticism check on it? Kind of. Get an idea of what is it sort of magic or is it technological? Uh, why don't you roll a mysticism check on it? Okay, can I aid? Do you not have detect um, magic? You can roll your own. I do I'll have detect own. magic, yeah, but I mean, I mean, I feel like we Adam was it... down for the mysticism, so let's let's try that. Yeah, uh, Impressed. that's gonna be a 32. Oh, thank god, 26. 32. Yeah, I mean, if she aids, it's a 34. I don't know if she can aid or not. I think he said I had to roll my own. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it is certainly magical. Okay. Um, it seems to be a force field. Uh, that's about all you can get just from a basic mysticism. So you know. to, to detect magic, uh, I can I can do that. Yeah, detect magic, definitely, definitely magical. Okay, I can keep concentrating on that to learn more about that magic every round. Uh, yeah, it's force magic. Okay. I don't think you get much more info from that. Um, detect magic. I can determine if it's from a spell, magic item, or other effect. Cast or level of the effect. Um, so it's from an from an item. From an item. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not a spell, I should say. It's, it's not. A, it's, it's a magical. It's a magical, it's a magical ward of of sorts. Yeah, it's that, like a magical effect. You know. Mm-hmm. It's a force field. You know. know it's a force field. As we look around, like, do, do we detect any other magic, like apart from? Like, is the item coming from within? So it's not... A spiral? Uh, I, I only say item because I was more meaning that it's not a spell. This is a, a magic force field. Gotcha. It's like a ward. Bubble. I'm not going to say it's like a ward because I don't know if it's a ward. I'm just going to say that it's a magical energy that is a force field. I will say with the high mysticism and the detect magic working together... You get the sense that you could dispel this sure. with a successful yeah, was, dispel check. You that know? was my next game. That was my next play. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. So uh, Oren will stretch out a, a, a hand, close his eyes, focus on the spell, and attempt mm-hmm. to dispel it. It's a targeted dispel, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I have to do a dispel check. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's going to... Should just be your caster level plus your... Plus a d20. d20. Correct, yep. yep. Okay, I rolled a 19 on that, so 19 plus 13. Okay, so as you do that, you do successfully... You see the the shimmering force field kind of pull away. But I need everybody to roll initiative. Oh, what? Oh, what? Well, shit. All right. Oh, my God, (laughs) what the fuck? (laughs) Strap in, y'all. Um... Sir? Oh Hello? Uh, Buckle up, buckaroos. Excuse me. Sir and or madam, uh, could you fuck off, please? That's too many dice. Okay. Oh, we should have gone murder hobo. It's too much tuna. <laughs> <laughs> too much tuna. Uh, all right, Zach, what did Orn get? Orn rolled a, a natty 20 for oh, a 24. Nice. Great, great. What about uh, Kuiper? 15. Nightmare. Three on that die. Yeah. Okay, uh, Josh, what did Fel get? 
Felt got a 27. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, looking like you're at the top there, actually. Emily, what about Ziva? Got a 20. A 20. All right. And Mike? 12. Yikes. Okay. Well, we're starting this combat with Fell. So let's go. All right. <clears throat> well, Fell, uh, I guess sensing something is off or like, how would, how would he know that we've started combat? You know you, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, let's roll a perception. As, as soon as okay. the shield goes down, you just hear, we're going to fight. <laughs> 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 just so uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> 19 plus 17. So. Yeah, so with that 36, you hear jingle bells, jingle bells. We're going to send them to hell. And yeah. Fell will start. Jeez. <laughs> uh, so, first and foremost, he's going to use a, an ability called recalibrate to recalibrate his weapon. Okay. To give it one quarter of the range, but add an extra d6 to his damage. Oh, nice. Okay. It'll last for 12 minutes. Uh, and then it's a move action to disable that if I want to. What does it bring your range? range 20 to? feet. 20 feet, okay. And then uh, as a move action, I'm going to use Miracle Worker, which gives plus two damage to the, or plus two to damage rolls with that weapon and plus two to the attack rolls with that weapon. All right. And that's your whole turn? Whole turn. All right, Oren, you're up. And we're aware that that they're yeah. they're hostile now. Yes. Shit. Oren uh, telepathically says we should try to funnel him in somewhere. Maybe lock him in one of these cabins. Just a thought. They're all like, it's still your turn, though, so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, the thing is, I, 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 I do not see from my position any active threat. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, so... You know where they are, though, right? Yeah, I know where they are. Just go to Leroy, man. Man, tell me how to live my life, man. One more, <laughs> one more time. All right, so yeah, if I do that way, I go around the thing... Uh, around the 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 spongy uh, spiral staircase, mm-hmm. through our party squares a little bit, or can stretch out and get enough of a line of sight on one of these lumber bots that is approaching, and he will shoulder his rifle and take a shot. All right. To try to like you know maybe lure them or something, right? Yeah, sure. Ooh, I like it. Natural eighteen. That's going to be a total of thirty-three to hit. That Wait, will hit. Do I take a negative modifier of some kind? Oh yeah, because of the because of the wind. So it's a minus four. So twenty nine. So that's still a hit. I'll take it. Uh, okay, so sixty eight plus thirteen damage, thirty damage. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, okay, so thirty damage. That's a thing that you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, and that's my okay. turn. You that's bopped him. You did. You, you shot him right, right, right there, and, and he takes the thirty damage. Yeah, okay, he does. great. Combat resolved. <laughs> yeah, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> did it. Uh, Good okay. job. Next up is one of the logger bots, and they are going to spend their turn doing some movement. Ziva, it's going to be your turn. Um, not being able to see anything, uh, she's just going to run up and uh, try and get in position to assist Oren. I'm actually going to run through his space just so I can see. Um, and sh- yeah, going to try and laser cannon it. Not cannon, but just laser. Okay. Pew, pew. All right. So we're attacking this northern one that was Oof. walking in circles. Correct. It's no longer walking in circles. What'd you get? Yeah, no, that's a two on the die for a 14. Ooh, that is gonna miss. And that's my turn. Okay, great. Uh, is now one of the living holograms' turn. They are going to move. So, to clarify, uh-huh. 
We didn't turn them off. We turned off their regeneration. Correct. Oh, cool, 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 cool. And it they, did feel ominous when that became yeah, the thing. I was yeah. like, oh, we're absolutely uh-huh. going to fight these things. I see. Yes, and so one of them actually you see just fly through the walls of the cabin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets right. Now, it took two movements to get there, but it's right in front of Kuiper. Another one is going to do the same thing and get in front of Mike. Don't care for it. Piper, you're up. Well, that just fucked up my whole turn, okay? <laughs> fucked up your whole day, even, maybe. Uh, it's fine, mate. If you provoke, I'll bodyguard you. I'll just yell bodyguard now. You won't take damage. <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> That's how it works. That's canon. I'll do, I'll do it with my brain this time. Yeah. I'm going to take a 10 on my trick attack with stealth. That is going to be 36. Yes, yes. You're good. That is a successful trick. All right, and Kuiper, seeing this just completely come through the wall, just act on instinct, and he's going to swing with his uh, Gale Baton. Okay. That is a natural 19 of 33 against EAC. That will hit. All right. Okay, that's going to be 29 cold damage uh, on the Baton itself. Trick attack damage. It's going to be 17, so it's going to be 46. 46. Yeah. Nice. Big hit right there. Whack. Uh, All right. Are they uh, incorporeal? They are. So, so there's going to be some things that go on with that. Good to know. Uh, so because they're incorporeal, an incorporeal creature doesn't have a physical body. It is immune to all non-magical kinetic attacks. Okay. So that is not a magical attack. No, it's not. So it's going to take take none of that damage. Shit! It doesn't take kinetic damage. It just swoops right through. (laughs) You spent a year at a Doshko school and didn't (laughs) come out with a ghost killer Doshko? (laughs) No. (laughs) What about you (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's what my dosh goes. Shit, we'll kill it. <laughs> well, good for you. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, now you know. Found out the hard way. And it is another hologram's turn. <laughs> Comes right in your grill. In the Mike's grill. But I had to use full movement to get there. Mike, you're up. Okay. I mean, I... I'm just assuming, like, Kuiper would let everybody know it's incorporeal just so they... Uh, know. You, yeah, have you, tele- you have telepath ability. You well, yeah, you but do, you have to you use your... Too, but yeah. yeah. Well, but I'm saying you're the one who swung on him, not me. But you okay. saw it. And you saw it yeah. go right through. Okay, okay. Right well, then I'll time. let everybody know. I, I, I won't say is this thing on, but they're incorporeal. Use magic. Uh, yeah, so I will take a swing... At uh, the, I mean, the one that just popped out right in front of me, I guess. All right, get your swing. Okay, thirty-one against the AC. That will hit, but your Dashko is. Oh, it is a ghost killer. It's a ghost killer. You're right. Yes. Right. So yeah. it, it it attacks like totally normal, right? Yep. Awesome. So that is a hit. All right, thirty-three fire damage. Excellent. That all goes through. Nice. So. Uh, <laughs> and I will take a guarded step because I haven't done movement. I want to be right in the middle of all of these and in front of Kuiper. All right. Uh, that would take an opportunity attack. I know. So we'll get... It's a hard light slam. Hard light slam! Uh, Wait, nice. with a guarded step? Yeah, you it is a guarded step. Oh, it was a guarded step. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I missed the guarded I part. I was way too willing to just accept yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, I was going to take that. <laughs> uh yeah, it's Hark the Herald Kill them dead And it's now Lockerbot's <laughs> turn For the second time Who the fuck is Harold? <laughs> <laughs> and why do they oh, want the to hark him? <laughs> Alright, they move And then the last hologram Is going to move in We're just surrounding Mike here And then the last Lockerbot Ooh, this one's close enough to actually step in and get an attack here. So that's what's going to happen. 
as it steps in on Orin and makes a swing with its integrated, centered hand axe. Okay. Attack of opportunity from both from, of us? No. You guys don't have reach. Listen. I'm listening. I um I have lunge, but... But you have to use that. I have to declare it turn. on my yeah. turn. Uh, yeah. So lunge does not give you attacks of opportunity. Right. I don't believe. Yeah. Uh, so we're looking at a 24 to hit. A 24? Against yeah. KAC? K- yeah. That's not going to hit, my friend. I didn't think so. All right. Why is my map gone? Oh, my God. I'm just re All right. Round two. Fell. You're up. There are now four holograms surrounding Mike. There is one logger bot in front of Orin and Ziva. You know that there are two other logger bots on the premises, but they have not made it to this area yet. What do you do? Fell is going to move about 20 feet to the north. Knowing that his attacks won't do anything to the holograms, he's going to leave those to Mike. Mm -hmm. And is going to take an improved overcharge shot at the logger bot that just closed in on Orin. Okay. So let's see. I've got Miracle Worker on, so let's hit that one. Say 31 to hit. That will hit. And improved overcharge... And recalibrate a weapon damage. It's fucking crazy, dude. All right, so we are looking at 38, 42 damage. 42 damage. Nice big shot there. Uh, you kind of like blow the little kilt thing right off, uh, revealing just a flat metal plated groin. Oh no, a Barbie doll. <laughs> um, but you do a significant amount of damage there, Fell. Good job. Things looking pretty bad, actually. And Orin, you're up. Okay. Um, I think Orin will take a, a five-foot guarded step and then try to uh, fire another round with his rifle. Simple. Uh, so you know that it's immune. Because it's incorporeal. The bot? So a, the bot? Oh, no, not the bot. I'm sorry. My, my bad. Yeah. Bot's fine. Bot's fine. Yeah, okay. Well... Uh, that's going to be... I rolled a natural 18 on that. Uh, so that's plus 15 is a 33. Thir- 29 four. is... Right. It's also going right. to hit, though. It's right. also going to hit. Yep. Indeed. Uh, okay. Four, 29 damage. Very good. Very good. Punches through. Mm-hmm. No problem. Okay. No problem. You feel like you guys ha- can, can take these out. There's just a bunch of them, you know? Sure. But they, they seem to be crumbling fairly easy under your blows. It is now another Loggerbot's turn. Gonna spend its whole turn to get up in Ziva's grill. <laughs> Ziva, you're up. You've got a Loggerbot in your face now. Ziva is going to draw her sword uh, with, you know, call, called, obviously. <laughs> um... Well, we don't know all the fusions on your sword, but I got we, could have, we, we could have assumed you had called. It's yeah. safe to assume uh, it's called, is there. Uh, but she will put a get em on the robot directly in front of her. Just kind of call out, but like, I know you're busy, Mike, but, you know, maybe everybody else can get this guy. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is just my nightmare surrounded by Christmas carol ghosts. <laughs> 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 you're doing great. Um, so yeah, let's see what we get here. 17 on the die, 31 against KAC. 31 against KAC is a hit. This is on the one directly in front of you? Correct. All right. And that is going to be 36 slashing damage. Wowzers. Season play. Very nice. Very nice swing. Look at you actually being effective in melee combat. Was she trying? Bless her heart. Did you take a, the Can different you? one, or did you take the same one that I've been working on? Different one. I, yeah, one in front of me. Okay. It's in front of me. <laughs> the it's other one is too. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> action yeah, economy. Fair, you could have hit either one. I have a plan. I have a plan. Uh, we'll it's see. To kill the one in front of me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Mike, Mike, you're going to get quite a few attacks coming at you here. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start with the one that is north of you. Uh, okay. We're going to do full attacks. Are they slamming? Yeah, they're slamming. 
Okay. Twenty one's gonna jamming. miss. A twenty two is gonna miss. So the first one just can't get any purchase. I don't know if they're without a natural twenty if they is, actually is it can. Possible yeah, for we'll them see. to hit, but they, they don't know, you know. Right. So, but I don't know if it is. Uh, they're gonna find out with these full attacks probably next time. Not do it. Thirty one's not gonna get it right. This is against EAC now. Uh, my EAC is thirty four. Okay. I mean. They might natural 20, though. You're crit fishing. That's basically it. Um, I will say, with the electricity thing, like, I've really leaned into my wannabe Vanguard power fantasy, so I want to get hit. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> that's um, two misses from the other one. And Kuiper, you're up. So Kuiper, uh, for free action, is going to uh, send a telepathy message to Mike, um, saying, this is your battle, light. Can't do anything with these holograms. And uh, he is going to risk an attack of opportunity by engaging his flight, going with a trick attack against one of the loggers. Okay, which one? A logger that is directly in line with uh, Oren. Mm -hmm. And uh, gonna do a spring attack. Ooh, no, I'm not. Uh, because it's got reach. Instead, I'm going to do a pistol. So, so that's uh, still going to provoke an opportunity attack from the hologram. Yes, correct. Let's see. Bodyguard. Thirty against EAC. Uh, meets beats with the bodyguard. With the bodyguard. Oh, oh, with the bodyguard. No, it does not. Right. Okay. So then you can get your shot off. You already know that you can automatically succeed on the trick. Yep. So let's get your shot. Yep. All right. Attack. It's going to be a 31. Yeah, that'll get it. 22 piercing from the pistol. And 21 from the uh, trick attack. That's going to be 43 43. points of damage. And it's dead. Nice. And so he's uh, going to strafe down right next to Auron and be in between Auron and Fell as they battle these uh, logger bots. All right. And that's all I got to say about that. All right. Next up, we have one of the holograms. It is going to take a guarded step to flank Mike and then do a single attack against him. Oh, gosh. With a 21 against your flanked AC, it's not going to hit. Uh, so, Mike, you're up. Okay. Oh, God, I wish I had taken Cleave so bad. Um, <laughs> would have been beautiful right here. It, man, it, would, have, killer. it oh. would have. It would have. Cleave opportunities are so fleeting, though. It's already starting to break apart, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. That said, uh, I will... Uh, we, we, we're schmacking, right? I'm going to full attack <laughs> with all three attacks. Schmackin'. Soldiers Schmackin'. attack here. Yeah, soldiers onslaught. All right, uh, the one to the south is the one that you've hit already. Okay. I'll start with him and go in a circle like the Three Stooges. All right. Well, we'll see if I kill him. If right. I don't kill him, then I'll just keep attacking him. Just focus him. Right. All right. Attack. Okay, 25 EAC. That'll hit. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. These uh, things are weak, you know. You want me to go ahead and roll more roll attacks? Mo yeah, damage? roll all your attacks. Okay. Because I don't think you're going to... It doesn't matter. They all have the same ACs anyway, so. Uh, 22. Hit. Wow. All right. <laughs> I'm glad I did the full attack. Mm -hmm. All and right. So, last well, last yeah. one, uh, 25. Yeah, so, so, so you guys just go ahead and roll your damage of three times. Well, yeah, and, and uh, with I'll, the Yeah, damage, obviously, yeah. if it, yeah. Right. Um, so you guys see Mike. He's surrounded by these four elvish-looking blue hologram carolers and they're just singing in his face obnoxiously. He just fuels energy into his flame dashko as the teeth burst out with flame and he just starts getting all his damage and you were supposed to be rolling damage while I was giving the description. <laughs> I was buying some time for it the time to be activated. It's not hard. I'm already two thirds done. Oops. Okay. All right, so yeah, so, so three three slices at 40, 51, and 41. Uh, let's see. You will kill 
the one to your south with your first two attacks. Nice. And then the yeah. one That's what to I was really I was really hoping that just for again the power fantasy of like kill one, turn, maybe kill another with fifty one. Uh forty one is your third att- attack. Goes my into, second my you, you said got I killed the first one with my first attack. With your first two attacks. Oh, you said first attack. Okay. I said first two. It's cool though. It's recorded. We'll find out. <laughs> we will. Check the VOD. Uh, <laughs> right. All right. So uh, however, two attacks you, kills one, and I turn and hit the other for 40. Yeah. I mean, and I just, you know, again, in the interest of, like, really celebrating how strong you guys have gotten, like, I just want to picture you guys in this blizzard. You're just, like, those of you who aren't standing right by him, you're just seeing flashes of, like, oranges red through, through the snowy storm, and you're just yeah. hearing, like... One of the one of the voices of the carolers just like shut down, and he start, stops another one, and it's just. And I mean, he's in. You know, Mike's got this. He's surrounded, yeah. but he ain't even sweating it. You know, it's like it's like seeing a lightsaber battle on Hoth from mm-hmm. the distance. You know. Uh, all right, logger bot. Okay, this is the scraggler, so it's going to take its turn to keep trying to get closer to the battle. It was way, way over there. And we got another living hologram who is going to single attack Mike for a 30 to hit EAC, which is going to be a miss. Yeah, even even with bodyguard, that's still a miss. Well, it was attacking you. Can't, oh, yeah, you're right. down because of bodyguard. I'm down. Well, uh, so, but I'm also flanked, right? Not from the one that's attacking you. Oh, just... Dis- is it's that this, how that works? Yeah, yep. only only the ones flanking you get the bonus. Okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> Unless yeah. it's like a what is it, swarm trade or group trade or something? Well, yeah, let's not get off Sorry. into that. What Sorry. are you talking about? We're not playing that game, Emily. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Fell, you're up round three. <laughs> All right, Fell is going to once again boost his plasma weapon, mm-hmm. uh, giving an extra two d ten at the cost of two battery charges. And then, as a swift action, is going to activate his silicon armor casing for the first time. Oh, shit. So, it grants an extra 2d6 fire damage to my next attack. Uh, it's something that's an armor upgrade that's built into the armor. And that, how many uh, times a day can you do that? So, it's not so much per day. It gets 10 charges, and each charge is... Or rather, you recharge a single charge for 8 hours in normal or bright starlight. Oh, okay. So you just so need orange it's like stand next solar, to you. kind of. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Another cool. combo. Cool, 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 cool. I'm not your goddamn battery, Phil. Wombo. <laughs> person. Like, oh, but you are. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, it, it works. Though. I feel like he wouldn't even say anything. He'd just, like, hold Mm-mm. it up. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just it's just the armor itself. Just, it's not like a single small panel. Jingle it like an empty rocks glass, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, who are you attacking? Um, attack that uh, logger bot in right. front of Ziva. All right. So let's see. I've already got that up. Let's do Miracle Worker normal attack. It's 31 to hit. 31 hits. Sweet. So damage with the overcharge, with that, Pretty with the boost, D6. with silicon <laughs> casing. Jeez, we got to get this macro. Ooh, y'all, it's just a, it's just a tower of text. <laughs> <in the> numbers, <laughs> y'all. It is. <laughs> So well, what, 49 yeah. points of damage? Sure. <laughs> I think that's right. So talk to me real yeah, quick about this Miracle Worker thing. That's just a persistent deal? or Yeah, Miracle Worker lasts for uh, a minute. And I can do it two times a day. Mm. Gotcha. Nice. Bet. Okay. Well, 49 damage. Uh, yeah, you put a hurt on the kill. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's been killed to- been kilted, but not, not killed, really. But kilted. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. I was like, that's very confusing. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Zeev, no wait, whose turn is it now? Oren. Oren's turn. So Oren hears these stupid caroling holograms, mm-hmm. and uh, switches grips on his rifle as a swift action, and says, "I can't stand carolers." <laughs> and he will uh, draw his solar weapon uh, as part of his move action to move up into melee range with the holograms and cleave up. these two. 
Nice. And you're flanking the f- one that's in between you and Mike. Okay, so it's got a negative now, two to its AC. Solar weapon is considered a magic weapon. Not it's by the magic- fault, but if it has a crystal in it, which mine which does, it does, then it's considered a magical weapon for the purposes of bypassing incorporeal creatures. Perfect. I looked it up. I had to look I it believe, up. I had I to believe. make it. I had yeah. to check it. Wait, yeah. uh, I don't think you do this unless you, you came to yeah. yeah, Kyber Crystal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what they are. Let's be real, yeah. right? Like, I'm, re- right, I'm really right. just doing all these Star uh, Star Wars references for Steve from HLP. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's going to love this. He's got a... All right, all right. Never mind. So, <laughs> with 31 plus 2, or it just yeah. lowers its AC. Just lowers it lowers the AC. Okay, so, so 31. 31 hits. Yep. 31 hits. Very yep. good. So, we are looking at some damage. 47 damage. All right, so I believe that does half damage, right? Even still with the incorporeal. Is that how it works if it's a magic weapon? All energy attacks and magical kinetic attacks deal half damage. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. But, hey, it is a magical kinetic damage. attack. That's what it is. Yep. Uh, okay, so I'll take it. And then Orin swings on the one directly to the uh, west of that one. So we've never used cleave before, so... For our listeners, why don't you just quickly explain right, how so that works? Right, so cleave is a standard action. You declare it when you make your attack, and it allows you, if you hit on your first attack, to make another attack with your full uh, attack bonus against a creature that is adjacent to you and your target. Your but first it target. you I, exposed. Right, it reduces my ACs by two f- until my next turn. Right, all yes. right, so let's make that second attack Second here attack... On- uh, My jealousy knows no bounds. Is a 25. <laughs> that's a hit. Okay, I like it. I'll take it. Nope, that's not it. That's, that's the that's the rifle. Wrong attack. 42 damage. So half 21. Of that. 21, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Still, I mean, with the cleave, you get a good bit of damage uh, across both saying, of them. Yeah, a little damage here and there. Soften them up for Mike a, a little bit. All right, uh... Ziva, we're coming at you here, and you see this thing go into a full-on frenzy, and it's going to make three attacks at you. What a dick. Be nice. Yeah. I will not. Well, shit. But I'll probably miss with all of them. (laughs) I'd love it if you do. Mike yells out, brain bodyguard, just seeing if it'll work. Just trying, just trying. <laughs> Actually, I'd probably hit with a couple of them. Uh, 24 is a miss, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. What about a 33? That's a hit. So then that means the 34 hits as well. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, here comes two damage rolls to you for a total of... Well, do you have any DR? Um, I do not. Okay. So you will take 46 slashing damage. I think. Let me double check. Yeah. How much? 46. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Is uh, this it's all, your turn. Is this okay? Yeah, it's all slashing. I didn't care for that. Um, so Ziva's going to jibber, 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 re-up to get him just on this robot that's in front of her, just because. Uh, and is going to attack with her sword. Let's go. Uh, 25, 26. That's a hit. Okay. That's a hit. All right, all right, all right. Okay, 37 slashing. Now, is what does the Anubrix do again? That's a resistance against magical effects. No, it is a bypass its hardness. Okay. 10 right. hardness. That's um, good to note. And the other things are not affect. They would not affect it. My other fusions. All right, well, you got a pretty good hit on it still standing, but barely. All Ain't that right, that's just the way. That's just the way. We got some living holograms now. This one that's about to attack just got cleaved by Aaron. It was the first one of the cleave, so it's going to turn its back on Mike. That's its first mistake. And it's going to attack, do a little slam on Aaron. Okay, my ACs are lowered by two. Okay, good to note. So, what about 29 to hit your EAC? That just hits, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Okay. 
Let's see. The damage you're gonna take is nine points of bludgeoning damage. All right, so I'm gonna reduce that by five from my DR. Super. So I will take four. All right. For that All damage. Right. For that damage. Okay, this other one that's now to the left of Mike is going to make an attack on Mike. Single attack. Uh, that's a miss with a, not, a dirty 20. Uh, all right. And Kuiper, you're up. You've got all a right. water bot almost dead in front of Ziva. you got a fresh one coming around from the south. What you gonna do? So, Kuiper, seeing uh, Ziva by herself, definitely not going to let, uh, let our uh, captain uh, take on this uh, all, by, all by herself. So, uh, Kuiper is going to trick attack um, and use his movement to get behind mm-hmm. the logger bot right. uh, to impose flanking. Let's go. And uh, take 10 on that stealth, which is going to be a 36. Okay. Um, and it's going to be with the Gale Baton. All right. Uh, let's see if I hit. That is going to be a 33 against EAC. That's a hit. How do you want to kill him? All right. So, uh, Kuiper's just so quick. He almost just like flashes right b- uh, behind uh, the logger bot. And right after that, he says, you made a grave error attacking a Pact World's council member. And he is <laughs> going to... not quite to... a Pact World's council <laughs> member yet, but she's getting there. No, <laughs> soon to be a Pact World's council member. No, we speak it into existence. I love it. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like nothing personnel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did it. Like he's dead. You don't have to roll yeah. damage. I like to roll the die. <laughs> I know, but like, <laughs> but like, sometimes we're gonna just bypass that in this adventure, guys. I'm just gonna tell you, you know. Like, we like the number <laughs> rocks. We like <laughs> the number, number rocks. You know, you know, you know. You can edit this out. All right, Adam. Appreciate it. <laughs> number rocks make brain feel happy. That's uh, right. That's good right. Brain I need the dopamine, good. dude. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, this hologram is going to attack a flanked Mike. Let's see what we can do. Oh, wait, no, that hologram is dead. My bad. Yeah, we'll see you. Did. See you uh, in hell. Shit. <laughs> Whose turn is it? All right, it's now this so other one. What's logger. going on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where am I? What year is it? <laughs> All right, well, this logger bot is going to move in to where that thing was and. Make an attack on the flanked mic. Okay. To where to where what thing was? The dead hologram. Okay. Thirty one to hit your EAC flanked. Flanked EAC. Flanked is minus two, right? Yes. Yeah. Well my EAC flanked is thirty two. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, but no, but I still it hasn't come around to my turn since I bodyguarded yet, or has it was that last turn? You didn't uh, bodyguard you me bo- last time. Bodyguard- no, you, nobody yeah. was around no, no, for okay, you to bodyguard. Yeah, okay, yeah. it's the same, yeah. So then so it does not hit. So that's yeah. a miss. All right, perfect. All right, perfect. and yeah, perfect. And then the last hologram, here we go, is going to attack a single attack on Orin. Brain bodyguard. <laughs> yeah, 20, brain bodyguard. Yeah, 26 <laughs> against the E. Uh, your it, EAC not, is still reduced. Still reduced. But, doesn't yeah. hit, though. All right, all right. Top of the round. Fell, you're up. All right, Fell is going to seem to do nothing this turn, but I am setting up for an absolute knockout next turn on that uh, on that logger on that lagger bat. So you're yeah. doing something though. Oh, I'm doing something. Well, you have to describe so what it is here. My move, <laughs> what my move is, is uh, going to be activating combat tracking on logger bot. My standard action is going to be to supercharge my weapon. It's the first time you guys have ever actually seen Fel cast a spell. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Not Dude, overcharge, what? but Dude, supercharge. What? Yeah. Dude, yeah. what? So, uh, huh? so what? All right, or See, I can... Y'all can call him spelling, I'm, I'm, though. Wait, I'm we? not done yet, B. Oh, okay. <laughs> actually, no, I'm not actually. It sounds like you're not. No, I'm actually. I actually am. That's it. Hey, hold on real quick. Did we skip my turn? 
Because <laughs> our in attack, I have an attack since no, our attacked, right. and now right. we're back to fail. See, when I was saying what's going on, that's what happened. Uh, you lost me. Yeah, lost you. All right, you tried ahead, to go. use your dementia as an excuse to not <laughs> let me get my attacks. <laughs> Damn! I mean, excuse the <laughs> reality. You know, <laughs> let's go uh, get get your attacks. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. All right. So I assume you're gonna be on this left um, one that you were working on. Yeah, I'm just going. Yeah, all the way around the circle. I'm I'm doing all three uh, soldiers well, you, onslaught attacks. Yeah, but you just got a natural twenty. So this next one confirms that natural twenty, and then roll again. Uh, oh, might might actually miss one. You do miss the last one, however. So let's get the damage on the first one first, and then we'll okay. deal with the critical. Get the cards ready, John. Oh, they ready. They ready, all right. So that's 47, okay. right? I'm sorry. Yeah, right. on, on the middle one, 47 damage, fire. He's still, still up. Okay. Uh, critical hit, what you draw? Oh, I don't want to waste a crit on him when he's got two HP left. <laughs> he's got right. more than two. So, uh, the extreme is bludgeoning. No, but energy. No is be gone. <laughs> Bonus effect. The target moves one step down the charisma poison track. <laughs> sure you want that, right? Uh, that, uh, Until no. Heal. I mean, no, 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 I don't. No. <laughs> you sure? Just get your double damage on it. You know, right. you kill it. I'm sure. I cannot imagine that you don't. Well, go ahead and get your numbers. Get your I dopamine. Mean, That's a critical. I won't take that from you. I mean, I kind of want to hit one of the other ones yeah, that probably but has more health. Yeah, no. I mean, I can choose who the fuck I want to hit. Yeah, like. but you did when you said, I'm going to start with this one and work around the circle yeah. until they die. So, Just do it, Heath. Yeah, it's bullshit, but... Our incorporeal that's, that's, the, immune? that's the sacrifice we make for Adam's experience. Oh, oh you right. They're immune to critical. They're immune to critical hits. Not if, I, no. not if you have Ghost Killer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Ghost okay. Killer, they're not. Nice. Shit. Yeah, Ghost Killer right. negates everything in Corporeal. It gives you the ability to crit. It gives you full damage. All right. Well, they had 27 hit points left, and you did how much damage? 79. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not very good for a crit, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, so there's now only two holograms left. Just a bass and a soprano trying to get these songs going, and a logger bot who's going insane. <laughs> the, I just the, I hear bass and soprano. The bass was my little baby love Christmas. <laughs> 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 yes, I do. All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. All right, Orin, you're up. All right, uh, Orin. You know, just for a uh, point of procedure, we'll, we'll sheath his rifle. Um, as his move action, and then as a standard action, he's going to cleave again. All right. Same targets. Natty 15, that's going to be a dirty 30 on that. That'll, whoop, whoop. that'll get it. Um, well, actually, no. It's reduced. It's still good. Okay. You got it. All right, all right, great. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can get some damage in there. Uh, 41 to 20 damage. Yep. Okay, he's gonna cleave the next target over. Uh, this one may not hit, dude. That, without, before reductions, that is a 27. It still hits. Okay. Because you're just reducing it by two, right? Or no, there's no reduction in your attack roll. Oh, it, there's no reduction in my attack roll? No, it just... It reduces your oh ranged attack rolls, right? Right, just ranged attacks. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, then, all right, then, yeah, absolutely. Um, thirty-six damage, five by two. Yeah, on so that eighteen one. points of damage yep. on that one. Yep, yep. All yep. right, keeping it cleaving. Yep, keeping it cleaving. Reduce my AC right. by two. All right, Ziva, you're up. All right, Ziva's going to move her full forty feet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, she's gonna move. So that she's not um, getting hit by right. any of those creepers, uh, and it's going to swing on the bot just below Mike. Okay. Let's see if we can fuck it up, please and thank you. I'd like that a lot with that natural fucking twenty. Oh, 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 shit. Nice. nice. Let's roll to confirm. Okay. Can do. Come on, baby. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Thirteen. That's a nineteen. Does that 
confirm. No, it does not confirm. Damn. But Pisces. still, uh, I still think it's double damage. That's what I had liked yep. to hear. Yep. Please and thank you. Yep. Um, a critical Cebu play. Ooh, look at them dice. <laughs> um, that's a 74 slashing damage. Wow. Uh, huge hit there. Don't worry, Phil. There's still plenty of juice left for you to take down with your build Okay. But uh, okay, you, good. she basically set you up for a potentially killing shot. You still got a good bit of HP to knock out, but you might be able to do it with all your dice. You, you, you took, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, you took half its HP with that one shot there. Nice. Ziva, and uh, yes. I don't know what I'm going to do with an effective Ziva. I can uh, fucking hide, bud. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what, what's going to happen now. Uh, okay. Uh, don't learn today. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. All right. Uh, I guess this one's going to attack Orin. Okay. With this living hologram. Yep. The base. The base. Let's see what we get. Come on, man. Give me a natural 20. Nah, 26 against your reduced EAC. Negative. All right. Kuiper, you're up. Only logical choice is to attack the logger bot. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, so, he's going to go ahead and uh, try to move in for a spring attack. That is... Just make sure you don't get in Phil's way. Right. No, that's I don't care. Be oh, that's right, because you got the combat tracking and all that good stuff. That well, I've got sniper's aim, so if he gets right. two points of AC from cover, it's negated anyways. So, and I'm just moving my full movement, but right where he pivots at, uh, at that forty uh, feet angle right there, or thirty five feet angle right there, is where he's going to be hitting. Okay, right. he's going to be continuing on with his mm-hmm. movement mm-hmm. to right. Yeah, I uh, got it. That's a that's a tree. Oh, yeah, you can't stand in the tree space. Either. No, I can't stand in a tree space. <laughs> I can't stand in tree space. All right, there we go. You need to be a space druid for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Weldy might be able mm-hmm. to. Oh, I definitely so, can. We already know that the uh, trick attack uh, would succeed uh, at a uh, yep. taking 10. Let's see if we can hit him on the run for a 22 on that EAC. Are you hitting with a melee weapon or a ranged weapon? Melee. Okay. That is a hit. What? That is? Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Meets and beats. so, yeah. Nice. Give me 24 cold. Plus another 27. So 51 points of damage. Okay. 51 points. Still up. Uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. So he just dashes by and he just, like, slams the fuck out of its head, you know, um, mm-hmm. as, as he continues running past Ziva. Okay, Mike, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna keep attacking the uh, caroling bots because I hate them. And mm-hmm. Everything they stand for. Oh my god. Um, Which one are you starting with? The uh, corner one. Okay. The one not in front of uh, or in flanked by me and Orin. All right. All right. Ooh, 19. That's a. I think that's a miss. Hold on. Yeah, that's a miss. Okay. Attack him again. 30. Hit. Dirty 30. Hit, hit, hit. Okay. And I'll do one more. And that will be a 16. That's a miss. Wow. Uh, that, that, well, doing all three attacks. I know, yeah. but even so, you've been doing pretty good. Uh, I, yep. All right. So just the one. Yep. And, oh, I rolled an attack, not damage. I'm sorry. It's okay. Forgive me, please. Uh, only 27 fire damage. Uh, 27 fire damage. Okay. Still standing. Yep. All right. That wasn't quite as good a turn for you, but at least you still nah, got he's, some damage. You know, well, I mean, you know, it's been like three, four turns of just swinging three times per turn. He's probably starting to get a little tired. Yeah, a little, a little worn out, maybe. All right. The logger bot is up and is going to do a full on frenzy attack on Mike. As he's got you flanked. Yep. All right, I might be able, might be able to get some some action here. Let's see. You're gonna kill yourself if you hit me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but you know, maybe I'll get a little hurt on you too. Uh, I am I, not complaining. I think only one of these are gonna hit. Uh, well, flanked. KAC thirty-two. 
uh, my flanked KAC is 34. Jeez Louise. So all three of those miss. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and uh, I guess this guy is going to attack you, Mike. This other living hologram, the Soprano. Okay. With a hard light slam. Let's see if I can get any. Oh, Tony. Tony Soprano. Yeah, I've rolled so many twos. Uh, that's a. That's another miss. Uh, all right, we're back at the top of the round. Fell, you've got a logger bot on its ropes, and the two living holograms are about each halfway down, roughly. All right. Well, for my move action, I'm going to, once again, boost the plasma weapon for an extra 2d10, and then fire with an improved overcharge. Uh, but still have that supercharge active for this turn got mm-hmm. miracle worker up got combat tracking up and the recalibrate weapon so this is going to be a whole lot of dice all right here we go and this is at uh this is at the logger bot. all right firing with heavy hostility mm-hmm. right that's a 40 to hit <laughs> wow <laughs> oh, filthy fucking you rolled it you rolled it <laughs> filthy <laughs> Filthy 40. <laughs> Filthy 40. Filthy right. 40. Ooh, congratulations. All right, so, let's see. Yeah. Plasma fork damage plus miracle worker. 36 damage. Mm-hmm. Plus the improved overcharge. It's an extra 12. So right, that's 48. 48 mm-hmm. Plus the recalibrate. 49. <laughs> plus the supercharge. 58. Mm-hmm. Plus the boost. 60, 73 damage. Sir, Marsh. as someone who plays a low-level mechanic, you are an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> well, with 20 HP left, I think you got it. <laughs> it just like... Completely... Uh, just, uh, just, what is your weapon? Disintegrates like, the a, thing, man. Is it a laser? It just takes off the top of it. Is it it's, it's a plasma a, fork. So it's, it's a partially rifle. electrical, too? It's electric and fire. Yeah, okay. it's, a, it's essentially so, a rifle, right? So, what is half of 72? 60. Uh, 36? No. 36. 36. And then half yeah. of that is 18? Yeah. Yes. So, you do another 18 points of damage because so it's vulnerable 90 damage. to elastic, uh, uh, electricity. So, oh it's 90 God. damage. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, you hit it and like the, the, the plasma ammunition just kind of wraps around the logger bot and it just fritzes out as you just see electrical current just all over its body from head to toe <laughs> and, it, and it's like uh, axe flies out of its hand its eyes explode out of its head and it just crumbles apart in an electric mess nicely done dude hey guys nice. uh, my time with uh, D9 was well spent I think <laughs> holy shit <laughs> uh, Oren alright Instead of cleaving, I think Oren will grip his solar weapon with two hands and just start hammering on this one that's right in front of him that he's got flanked with mm-hmm. a full attack. All right. So, it's not a high, I mean, I, I may be missing, but, you know. Okay, not bad. 25 to hit mm-hmm. on the first hit. Okay. 37 divided by 2. Mm-hmm. Second attack is a 26 to hit. That's a hit. Okay. That's 44 on that damage roll. So 22. 22. Oh, man. That's... He's still up. Still up, huh? Damn. Yeah, but... but looking pretty pretty rough okay. those bass notes aren't quite hitting there's a little warble there's a little break in his voice all right like like he like he's like a tenor who's becoming a bass you know what I mean? <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my goodness okay uh ziva all right ziva is going to move over to the left and then up to basically stand on the non-corpses of the holograms. Yeah, they, they, yeah they're actually disappear when you yeah. kill the holograms. So. Uh, and as she does, she comes up and swings Inevitable Downfall, which has fusions, ergo is magical for the purposes of bypassing. Sure. Uh, ooh, a 20 against KAC. KAC is a miss. No, well, yeah, that's, wait, did you get them? 
No, because I moved. Okay, so that's a miss. All right. Well, I'm up here. All right, you are you in there? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> All right. the The base is going to try to. Uh, this one was attacking Orin, right? Yes, the base is attacking Orin. So here we go. Oh my God. Sorry about it. It's a miss. Sorry miss about your, your, your yeah. piddly little hologram. Terrible rolls. All right, Kuiper. You're muted. Sitting here trying to figure out. I mean, you ain't got nothing. Huh? I ain't got nothing. I, I don't have any fusions. I, I literally had to buy a weapon and an armor. So <laughs> what? Why yeah. don't you go have a drink or something? Yeah. Just yeah. go go clean your fur with your tongue or something. All right, Mike, you're up. It's all right. It's all right, John. You did you did some work that you needed to do. They're about to clean this up. Ain't no thing. Let's go. Which one are you attacking first? The corner one? Yes. All right. 18. Miss. That's going to miss. 20. Miss. Okay. I'm going to have to stop doing Soldier's Onslaught. It's got a and a three. Better. 17. Dang. Miss. It's, 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 yeah. I mean, like, if you could just roll above an eight, you're good. <laughs> you know? But All right. That's three misses. I guess we're going long, folks. Because I'm not using <laughs> my titanium mic dice. Ah, that's what it is. It is the tenor's turn and is going to attack Mike. Or not the tenor, the soprano. Here we go. Just keep fishing for those twenties, I guess. No, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, all right, fell, you're up. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't even have a chance to to plan this turn. Um, I'm gonna just do a boost and improved overcharge on. Uh, the one that Oren and Mike have been, or that's in between Oren and yeah. Mike. Yeah, right. you have a fusion, so it'll just take half, half. Yeah, half damage. Yeah. So let me try that. And that guy's not currently tracked. So wait, d- does it take energy damage anyway, though? Huh? Is it just kinetic that you can't hit with? It's magical or non-magical. Kinetic. Ooh, that's a nat twenty. Oh, oh snap! Well, it's immune to criticals. Oh yeah. So, that's right. oh yeah. So, but it is a hit, you know. Yeah. No, still, still. All right. So, damage plus improved overcharge. If it was our underground show, it. we'd still put that on. The <laughs> and boost. Yeah. And I'm sorry. Which one are you attacking? The one in between uh, Oren and Mike. All right, so we're looking at 16 plus 28, 54, or 44 points of damage. Yep. Does it All take right, half of that? he's dead, though. Oh, he ain't dead, though. 22 points. He's close. He's real close. Unless he's got a vulnerability to electric or something. He does. Wait. So then... No, wait. That was the, the robots. robots yeah. Let me just say... Okay. Nope. Nope, nope. Okay. Nope. All right. So still very close, very 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 close. Oren, you want to cleave? Yeah, Oren's gonna cleave. We're gonna see if we can get this done. First attack on the one that fell just attacked, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, twenty six. That'll hit. Okay. Please, fucking kill it. Please. Twenty damage. Done. Easy. Yay! Easy nice. clap. Next one on the cleave. <laughs> <laughs> Easy clap. Uh, that is going to be 29 to hit. I'm sure that's going to hit. That's a hit, yeah. Okay. Looking at another 20 damage. <laughs> okay. Looking good. Looking good. Still standing, but putting some hurt on. Okay. Ziva, you're up. All right. I will enact to get him on the one directly in front of me. All right. And we're going to try and whack it. With an extra twenty, it's a mutant critical. Damn, it would it would go on the board. I, I still get excited. I still get excited. Um, okay. Good brain chemicals still pop off. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Um, it's only twenty eight slashing. So what is that? Half Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. That many slashing. Okay. All right. Still standing, but hey, putting some. Putting some damage on. And it does have a get him, so at least there's that. That's true. Kuiper. So Kuiper is going to position himself directly with flank, I mean, flanking the um, the hologram 
opposite of Ziva. You would take an opportunity attack, wouldn't you? Yeah, but he's got enough movement to re- go yeah. around your back. Okay. Right, exactly. I can actually just say that that's a uh, trick attack, and so that way I don't take any damage, even though it won't do anything to mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Yep. So. Yep. All right. Good deal. So you at least got the flanking situation right. going. I uh, appreciate it. Mike, you're up. All right. We're not doing three attacks. We're doing two. So Look, one don't. good attack will do it. I know. I'm I'm still doing a full attack in case I miss the first one. Right, but not see. a not a soldier's onslaught three attack. Gotcha. Uh thirty on the first That's attack. That's it. That's it. All right. Let's do it. Let's clean this up. Where's my oh there it is. Damage. Forty four fire Shit. damage. Yeah, he did. Though. <laughs> yeah, he nice. did that. Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, he needs some milk. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, and so you guys have just defeated all of the guards. Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. 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 You de- Finally. <laughs> you defeated all the guards of this these ruins. You were able to disable the force field, and perhaps the saving of Weldy waits for you below, but we'll have to find out next time, because we'll see That's you. right. Uh, next time on Devastation. Yeah. Yeah. On yeah. Dragon Balls, I mean Devastation. This bill continues to power up. Power up. Yeah. Uh, two episodes of powering up for that one shot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, almost, I almost made a Krillin reference with your with, 